Does the friendship mean a lot? Friendship of men? Oh, yeah, I like that. Uh, I think that's one of the, um, the, the pleasures of golf as well. Mm. I'm not mad. I don't like playing golf with women, no matter how good they are. I really don't. Your wife plays golf? She's a very good golfer, yeah. You don't, I don't like don't to play, play with, her. Golf with her? No. Why not? Because I don't like playing golf with women. Why not? I like the company of men better at golf. Why? It's very difficult to explain. It's just um, the it's more pleasurable playing golf with with men than women. Years ago, you did an interview, which may come back to haunt you. What, you know what I'm going to say, right? No. Okay. You did an interview <laughs> in which you said. Uh, not the worst thing to slap a woman now and then. As I remember, you said you don't do it with a clenched fist. It's better to do it with an open hand. Mm. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I didn't love that. I haven't changed my opinion. Uh, you haven't? No. Not at all. You think it's good to slap a woman? No, I don't think it's good. You I don't think, think it's bad. It must, I don't think it's that bad. I think that it depends entirely on the circumstances and if it merits it. Yeah. Well, what would merit it? Well, if you have tried everything else, and women are pretty good at this. They, they can't leave it alone. Yeah? They don't they want to have the, the, the last word, and you give them the last, last word, but they're not happy with the last word. They want to say it again and, and get into a really provocative situation. Then I think it's absolutely right. To give a good slap? Yeah, absolutely. What if she gives you a good slap back? Well, then you get into another area. I mean, uh, then maybe she's getting to like it, and then it becomes something else. I don't know. But uh, no, no, I, seriously, I think that uh, it's the last resort. He's not going to do it because he wants to do it. Huh? Wait till people see this interview. Are you going to get male? Might get some female. <laughs> well. Do you ever slap your wife? No. No, she doesn't provoke it. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she takes me to the wire. She's very, you know, she's, uh, she's very much got her own views and opinion and everything, mm -hmm. and she's French, and, you know, they are quite pragmatic, and, uh, but, no, I mean, she's tiny anyway, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, but I have, I have a very violent temper, and I have, and I don't, I wouldn't want to start uh, hitting. But I'm also quite strong. Mm-hmm. What makes your marriage work? That my wife has a lot of interests and things. She's and totally absorbed with me. And we have enough separations that we've been doing some things all the time, so when we come back here, there's always yeah. something to talk about. I, ca I couldn't be with the same person all day, every day. It would bore me to tears. Do you believe in fidelity? Do I believe in fidelity? Yeah. Yeah, I believe in fidelity, yeah. Your wife is totally absorbed in you. Yeah. Yeah. Are you totally absorbed in your wife? As much as I can be, yeah. But as I say, I have to go... For example, if I go to make a film, she doesn't come with me the first week. Mm -hmm. I just... I can come and go and do exactly what I need to do to get it right for me. Hmm. And uh, she understands that. And uh, so she has sufficient interest in things herself anyway, not to need to be sitting there. I swore when I was preparing the questions for this interview that I would not use the phrase male chauvinist. But you are a male chauvinist, aren't right. you? And what is a male chauvinist? Well, it's a guy who kind of, it's that sort of, sort of macho, uh, you know, women are kind of nice as long as they're not too much around and a good whack. And I, never fanny said never that. I never and said it, well, that. Well, you said you don't mind giving them a little whack. No, if no, they, no. If You're it's lifting it right out of context. Okay, then you tell me. So no, we have you tell me what you, you, you. I don't profess to be macho. I don't profess to walk around smacking her. I never smacked my wife. Uh, it's the I'm attitude. Saying, it's the attitude. The attitude? Oh. Mm. You mean I should. My attitude should be different when no, I'm talking about women. No, it's okay. Oh, but what it's do you just, mean? Well, I don't like playing golf with women. That's a crime. I don't go and insist playing with them. So why should they come and insist playing with me? Also, in the, in the golf club, when there's a room for men only, I think it's terrific. 
And why would they want to go in if they're not wanted there? Eh? Now, I suppose I could go and say, well, where's the ladies' club here? I must go and <laughs> get some games of these wonderful 36 handicappers. And, uh, you know what I mean? Equal time. Coming up Equal with rights. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about the Equal Rights Amendment? Do you know that the amendment we're trying to have passed in our country? Well, I think, you've, you, I think it's unequal rights now with the women. I think they've got everything going for you them. You do, huh? It's, it gets into... Uh, I think that you should get paid if you do the equal job, yeah. I know I work harder and earn more money to make things happen, mm -hmm. huh? which has been my role since I can remember. Mm -hmm. huh? And uh, if the guy is going to be the one that's got to go out and do the work to feed everybody so that they can have the kids or go to school or have a car or whatever, then he has, they have to give him a primary consideration. No? Now, there, there's, there are some exchanges in yeah, the roles you know, where the wife says, OK, I'm going to work and you can do the cooking and bring up the kids. Well, if, if some men are suited for that, I think it's terrific. I don't think I'd be very good at that. I don't think you'd be very good at that either then it's better I should do something I'm good at. Then she would be happy too, no? What about both working and both helping at the house and both helping with the kids? Well, that happens in part. Do you respect a woman's opinion as much as a man's? But of course. Okay. Of course, well, why wouldn't I? All right. But you know, there are stupid women, eh? And there are and stupid, there are stupid men. men. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you, you f we haven't cornered the market on all our faults, eh? Mm. We've, we've been talking somewhat seriously, but somewhat teasingly, too. Do you mind when someone says you're a male chauvinist? You've heard it before. I don't mind, honestly, no. Sean, what do you think is the biggest fault, in your opinion, that a person can have? The biggest fault? Yeah. You mean other than being a chauvinist other pig? Other than being a chauvinist pig, yeah. <laughs> pig uh, is a word I didn't use. Um... Stupid. I hate stupidity more than anything. Finish this for me. Sean Connery is... Almost a male chauvinist pig. <laughs>